Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you a very expensive hybrid squad. This is the most expensive I've ever done on any FIFA, and if you do not know why, then just take a look at my YouTube channel. I got the best player I could have asked for, the player I've been wanting for four years, Cristiano Ronaldo. Go and check the video out. My reaction is just brilliant, in my opinion. It's just so extreme, but, you know, it's a reaction, and that's... <laughs> That's just exactly how I felt when I got him. But anyway, on to this video. Um, this squad was uh, suggested to me by the Blue Machete, who is going to be starting YouTube eventually. He'll probably end up doing Call of Duty videos. So, yeah, if you do want me to build any hybrids, roughly 2 million budget or less, then do let me know in the comment section. Like, Give me an idea of the hybrids. Give me some players. Give me the full squad if you want, or give me leagues, nationalities, whatever you want. But anyway, let's get into this team. It doesn't have full chemistry, it has 91 by itself and 96 with the manager, but to be honest, I don't really care, because if I play 10 games with this, or when I play 10 games with this, it'll get 100 chem, so 90 chem, in my opinion, is the minimum you need, and that meets the requirements. But anyway, we have Sidigu in net. Uh, he's a very strong keeper, 86 diving, 87 reflex and 85 positioning. Oh, his main stats, 84 overall, less than a thousand coins. He's just, uh, like, really, really good. Uh, centre backs, Thiago Silva and Dante, both tall, both pacey, both Brazilian, both beasts. Just unbelievable, and Thiago Silva is just ridiculously cheap. An 87 rated Brazilian centre back with 80 pace, 87 defence and 83 heading. Only cost me 26 and a half thousand unbelievably cheap. Dante on the other hand only cost me 3,400. 68 pace so not as much but he makes up with it with his height and his afro which seems to give him like five inches more height. Uh, 84 defense and 81 heading very strong. So the right back is Danny Alves he cost me 44,000 and Everyone knows who this guy is for three or four FIFAs. He's been the best right back on the game, in my opinion. And since Lom is now a CDM, he can't compete with them anymore. So, yeah, extremely good. Then on the other wing, we have Alaba, who is surprisingly expensive for the player he is. He's 14,000 coins and he's only 81 rated. He is very, very good though. I've used him before. Uh, 86 pace, 82 dribbling, 70 shooting, 77 defence and 82 passing for a defender is really really good, that's why he is so much. Um, two centre defensive mids are Kadira and yep, you just saw it, Lom second in form, I really wanted to try this out and the blue machete like suggested I did because he wanted to see how good he played as a CDM instead of a right back. So. You know, I've uh, bought him and he cost me 250000 which I think is really cheap considering he came out yesterday, no, two days ago, so I suppose it's a fair price. 81 pace, 85 dri dribbling, 87 defence, 89 passing. This guy hopefully will be a beast. The only downside is that he's 5'7", but we'll see how that compares. And then Kadira, who cost me 850 coins, mainly there to fill... Uh, for chemistry reasons, sorry, um, but his defence is strong at 84, so hopefully he'll work well with Long. The left mid is Royce. This guy is really, really good. I think he's better than what he was in FIFA 13, which is saying something because he was so overpowered. I don't know, uh, I think it's because he runs, obviously he's a winger now, left mid. So in my opinion anyway, he might be a lot better on FIFA 13 for you, but 91 pace, 80 passing, 86 dribbling and 86 shooting, they're just insane stats for an 85 rated player. On the right we have Di Maria who generally in FIFA has been a bit of a letdown for me no matter what his ratings are, I haven't tried him on FIFA 14 but he is there to, for chemistry reasons again so hopefully he will impress me because he didn't really in FIFA 12 or 13 so yeah 90 pace, 86 dribbling, 83 passing and 78 shooting on paper that's brilliant hopefully he can um, show that on the pitch by the way the price is 23,250 for Di Maria and 77,500 for Royce center attacking mid is Gareth Bale I've used him on FIFA 14 before and 
Oh my god, this guy is just so good. I used him as a striker though, so he may be slightly different as a center attack in mid. 795,000 coins he cost me, which is ridiculous considering last FIFA when he plays for Spurs as a left mid. He only cost about 40 to 50 towards the end, so yeah, it's a big price tag, but 93 pace. 84 dribbling, 84 shooting and 82 heading, 74 defense and 74, sorry, 82 passing and 74 heading, all around beast, and then the striker is second in form, Lewandowski, I've used his normal card, I've used his first in form, but I haven't used his second yet, I didn't really enjoy his first in form too much, so hopefully he's a lot better, I enjoyed his normal card though, so that's kind of weird, but yeah, hopefully this one's a big improvement of his first in form. 84 pace, 87 dribbling, 87 shot and 85 heading. And he is 6 foot so he should be an absolute beast. But yeah, that is the team. It cost me, I think, around about 1.85 million. Which is just ridiculous for me to be saying that because the most I've ever had is a million on FIFA 13 and I had to trade so hard for that. But anyway, let's get on to the goals and the highlights, so yeah, hope you do enjoy, and like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for daily FIFA 14 content, and yeah, peace. Remember to comment if you want me to do any other hybrids or squads that are roughly 2 million or under, yeah, thanks. Right, so yeah, I'm just going to do a little like brief description of the team, and then I'll let the music play for the rest of these highlights. But my three favourite players have to be Sirigu, um, I'd probably say Dani Alves and Bale being my out and out favourite, he is just fantastic, he scores some great goals and nearly scores uh, an unbelievable goal but it hits the inside of the post but then follows up with a great goal afterwards but anyway. Yeah, Sirigu, honestly, so good. I think he saved three or four penalties. I've only put one of the penalty saves in, just so it uh, like, doesn't take as much time. Dani Alves, the first goal, uh, basically, he like ran from his own second half to get into the box. Look at that, though. That's the only bad thing about Sirigu that I've had to say. He makes such a stupid save. But yeah, Dani Alves run the full length of the pitch to get inside the box and headed it in. He just he performed at the best in my um, defence, definitely, and Sirigu is just a great keeper all round, apart from that one error. And Bale, oh my god, he's just worth every coin I paid. One player that let me down a bit is Lewandowski, second in form. I really didn't enjoy using him. Uh, I don't know what it is, I just feel he got overpowered a lot, his touches were very clunky. But he was the only player that really did let me down. Apart from that, the team is very, very good. I mean, he did score quite a few goals, but he had so many more opportunities. So, yeah, that's my opinion uh, of the team. I My favourite, sorry, my favourite players to go over it are Sirigu, Dani Alves and Bale. So, if you do have the coins, I'd recommend you trying out Bale especially. But anyway, I'll just let the music play now.